everybody, welcome back to Softball 360. Now one of the first tournaments in the World Softball League's Mike and Championship Series is Corky's Early Bird in Minnesota. Now this is one of the oldest tournaments. It started 30 years ago in 1979. Let me put this into perspective for you. 30 years ago, gas was 80 cents a gallon. The Muppet movie was number one in theaters and everybody was doing the YMCA by the village people. It was 1979. Jimmy Carter walked the halls of the White House. Milk was $1.23 a gallon. And Sony released a portable tape player called the Walkman. Yeah, tapes. Oh, they were awesome. And one man from a small town started a tournament that would forever change softball in Minnesota and beyond. Oh, a lot has changed since then. But America's love of softball is still strong. And nowhere is that more evident than in the stands and on the fields at Corky's Early Bird Softball Classic in Owatonna, Minnesota, which is about an hour south of the Twin Cities. We've got four divisions of play, and we have the open division behind me here playing, the upper division, and then we have a C division, a D division, and an E division, and uh, they're playing throughout 11 diamonds throughout our city here. For 30 years, Corky has run this tournament, one of the first of the year in the area. Now this year will be Corky's last as the official manager, as Corky looks to spread his influence beyond the lines of the softball field. I got elected county commissioner in November, and so I had to give up some. 30 years seemed to be a, a time that I could call it an even number of years, and I, was, and, and I found somebody that I have real confidence in that can take it over. Um, basically in training for next year, Corky's retiring this year. This is his last year, and uh, just learning the ropes from him and introducing myself to all the different teams here and I'll basically be, act as the tournament director next year. For all 30 years, Corky's Early Bird Softball Classic has been closely tied to Weber's Bar. Its walls tell the story of softball history in Owatonna. 2001, we won the Class B state championship. Um, over here in 1995, we won the Class B state championship. Weber's Bar has a long, long tradition of softball in Owatonna. We've been associated since 1995, I guess. Photos of sponsored teams reveal that not much has changed in softball besides the mustaches and the uh, shorts. And the uniforms are a lot different. Uh, we had the coaching shorts with the high socks and one t-shirt, and now the, these guys are dressed like they're going to prom, so. This year, Corky found out that he'll be among the class of 2010 being inducted into the Minnesota Softball Hall of Fame ensuring that Corky and Corky's Early Bird Classic will be played for at least another 30 years. That's a uh, congratulate. He's done a, a lot for the uh, softball in the state of Minnesota. He's always had a team, he's always run tournaments, and uh, he's just been a great ambassador for the game. He deserves it. He's done a lot for softball, and, and uh, it's nice that he's, he's in the Hall of Fame to show the appreciation of what he's done for softball in the state of Minnesota. Thank you to everybody. Thank you uh, to WSL. Thank you to Softball 360. Thank you to all the fans. Thank you to all the teams, sponsors, everybody that promotes the game of softball, promotes this tournament. Couldn't do it without everybody. And uh, thanks again for everybody for what they do to make this tournament what it is today. So there's some of the history and tradition involved in Corky's Early Bird. We'll have more on that later, including the tournament results. But now it's time for the latest in health and fitness. It's Softball RX. Hey, thanks, Natalie. This is Todd at Lifetime Fitness. I wanted to share with you a couple of quick tips to avoid injuries playing softball. Lots of people get out of the office, get to the fields, they're running behind, jump right out and start playing. The odds of you pulling a muscle when you do that are, are pretty good. So first thing I want you to do, just take a quick light jog out to the fence and back just to get that body temperature up, get you warm. When you get back, lunges are a really simple, good, dynamic way to warm up. So just stepping straight forward, keep your knee back behind your toe. Um, stay up nice and tall with good posture. You can start to add some upper body movements with rotation. You can reach over your head. Lots of different variations you can do. Hopefully that helps you and uh, we'll be back next week to share a few more tips. Still ahead, Superfan Sven and the art of glove maintenance. Sven shares tips to laugh about. Our fast pitch tour de force takes us to the women's pro league led by Olympic superstar Jenny Finch. But first, Rhonda's annual softball tournament in Sioux City, Iowa should be on your summer playlist. Entering its 26th year, Rhonda and her tourney are making folks aware that Iowa is much more than cows and corn. 
It takes place June 12th and 13th. For more info, log on to our website at softball360.com. Sign up today for the 2008 Championship Tournaments for the WSL's Mike and Championship Series, fueled by softballsupplements.com. Over $100,000 in cash and prizes will be given away this year at three great events in three great locations, Panama City Beach, Florida, Rochester, Minnesota, and Reno, Nevada. Bring the entire family for a great weekend of the best softball in the country with premier facilities and huge payouts to the winning teams. Here's your chance to be featured on Softball 360. Go to worldsoftballleague.com for more details or to sign up today.